What is going on everyone? We are back at it with Yakuza 0 again and today we're gonna start Nightlife Island at last and I'm gonna guide you throughout the whole thing and don't worry I'm gonna show you how to be really good with all the ladies. Yup, you can count on me. So we're finally gonna get to play as Majima this time and we're gonna do the entirety of Nightlife Island together. And there we are at Sotenbori. Um, I'm, I'm also gonna show you how to recruit all the recruitable girls, I suppose you can say. Or at least just uh, enough of them. Uh, let's see. I think I'm gonna upgrade my abilities because I haven't done that in a while. I'm gonna take that. Or actually, you know what? Let's save a, li a little bit of that money because we're, we're gonna need it to buy properties. And buying properties is gonna help us with uh, finishing up faster. So I guess... Uh, we wow, we have 52 CP. That's fucking awesome. Hold on, let me check the CP shrine first. Okay, there we are. Exchange CP... What do we have here? Uh, I guess you could use these as well if you want some, you know, if you want some extra hostesses working for you. The casting uh, call upgrades. I mean, look at this. You just buy this and go back and there, there she is. You'll get one more hostess for your uh, club. Right, that's me. Sure thing! Welcome abroad. Or aboard. Whatever. And there you go. Okay, let's check up on the club itself, I guess. And actually, let's buy this, this, this um, 1,000... 100,000 yen stuff. Why not? Let's see what we'll get. A fucking cannon for 100,000 yen. That's a goddamn bargain right there. No regrets whatsoever. Okay, so far we have only Yuki. But as we go on with this mini game, you'll have all the girls in town at your disposal. You'll be one hell of a ladies' man. You can just count on me to guide you throughout the whole thing. And actually, what should we do first? Let's see. I guess we can go find, you know, the girls that are around town. There is one just over here. And these girls are just, you know, they're gonna request uh, some gifts in exchange for joining your club. But some of them are really helpful, so we should go for it. Right to the point. Yeah, so as you can see, they will request presents. And this one wants either a wallet or a watch. You can get any wallet or any watch, really. You just have to give her something. So now we have to go to that one shop called La Marche, I think. Lamarch, Lamarche, Lamarche, whatever, man. Just call it what, whatever you want and roll with it. I should buy some running upgrades. Okay, Lamarche should be just around this corner over here. There it is. So she wanted either a wallet or a watch. And we can get that pretty easily. So this is one wallet. And this is another wallet. As for watches, I mean, obviously you don't have to buy this one. Because it's basically a waste of money. When you, especially when you can just get this for 39,000 yen. And, and you'll get her at your club. 
That works. You, ju you don't have to spend that 4 million. Because right now we're still, you know, we're still kind of broke. So you want to save as much yen as you can. Because you're going to need it to buy properties. So now we're going to head back and give her that, uh, that gift. Or actually, hold on. There's another hostess over here. Or another hostess candidate, I should say. Let's see what this one wants. Okay, she wants a present. She wants an, a high-end accessory. A ring, a necklace, or a blaze, bracelet. Okay, let's check out that, uh, that shop again. A bracelet, a ring, or something else that I forgot already. Ah, oh, more sub-stories. Just skip them. We don't really need them right now. So she wanted uh, we could get either a bracelet or a necklace. Let's see. She wanted a ring too, I guess. Hi, and let's get the necklace because it's cheaper than the ring. And let's make our way, our way back to her. Okay, there she is. A necklace, then we got it. Now come work for us. Nice to meet you, Mitsuko. I hope you'll be a useful addition. Because actually there are some hostesses that are pre pretty much useless. And look at that, a fight. Let's take it. I'm ready for a warm-up. Nice, Majima. And look, he's intimidated already. And this guy too. Oh wow, there's the pliers over here. I'm gonna do that awesome heat action. Come here. Broken nose or tooth, whatever. Both work. Ouch. You dare hit me. Now get up again. Say goodbye to your finger. Poor bastard. Okay, what were we doing? Oh yeah, we were we were gonna head to that one hostess near the club. Another fight. Okay, sure thing. Let's do this then. Oh yeah, there's a teapot here. I'm gonna use that awesome that awesome heat action. Just watch this spectacle. Boom to the head. I hope you like your tea hot, because it sure as hell is hot. Boom. God damn, Majima's so goddamn fun to play as. Just look at that, look at those moves. Too late to be scared, buddy. That was awesome. Look at his face, though. Okay, uh, right. I'm gonna check some shops that we can buy here for this area. The first area should be the Mars area, I believe. Yes, there is the Mars area. So just look around for properties over here. I'm gonna show you the ones that I can find. Uh, there's none over here. Oh yeah, there's, there's one. Kono's Meats. 
And it's relatively cheap, so yes, definitely buy this one. And what else? Okay, since the hostess is here, let's just give her her uh, that watch. Or wallet. Uh, yeah, we bought a wallet. Now take the wallet and come over to work for us. This hostess in particular is really useful. I think her talk status is pretty high. And yeah, that's pretty goddamn useful. So that's one more girl at the club. And there's another shop. 1,700,000. Sure thing. Get it. And if you don't have enough money, you could just, you know... Oh, there's a telephone card. If you don't have enough money, you could find Mr. Shakedown, I guess, and beat him once. You should be able to buy some properties. I mean, you can get by uh, just fine without buying any of, the, of these properties, but... Uh, they'll help you speed up the process. So yeah, that's another shop. And I don't think there's one over here, but let's just check, just in case. Nope. Oh yeah, there is one. This is Liku Massage, or Eco Massage. Definitely buy it. So yeah, the thing is, you know, when buying these properties, uh, the story of Nightlife Island is gonna advance, and like, your girls may be under leveled as a as a, as a result. So if you do lose at these, you know, at the face off against uh, the other uh, other clubs, just don't worry. Do them over and over until you win. Because with you know with you buying all these properties, you're bound to be under leveled at one point. So just don't worry and keep trying. Okay, that's another one. Nokia massage. Yes, definitely buy it. So we're over 600 fans already. And for the Mars area, there should be an event for 500 fans. So yeah, we, we already are going to trigger one event just by buying these properties. So you can see how much they can speed up the process. And I'm almost out of money. Uh, let's see, how many more shops does this area have? Okay, there is just two. Izaka... Izakaya Naniwa and Rakuen N. Not this one, or this one. Nope. Like, trust me, just don't need them that bad. Not as much as Kiryu, because, you know, Kiryu's uh, business minigame kind of... Uh, it almost completely depends on waiting, but not with Majima. With Majima, you just have to gather fans, and you can do that through the minigame itself. So, now, so yeah, now as you can see, there is the event for 500 fans in the Mars area. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I've uh, I've actually done uh, Yuki's special training, the first one, in part one of chapter seven. So if you want to see um, the right answers to that training, you just you can just go back to that uh, video and watch how it goes. <laughs> you donkey dong. Eh? Wow, you're just stupid. Hi. So we're gonna go and check Club Mars now. And we're gonna take a look at their uh, top number one girl while we're at, while we're at it. <laughs> 
So, off we go, I guess. Just talk to him and choose check out Club Mars. <laughs> and now they're gonna go to take a look at Club Mars. And you'll also see the number one girl, which is I. Ai Oehara, I think you pronounce her name like that, I'm not sure. Ai. <clears throat> yeah, I suppose it's, fla it's flashy. There is the number one girl. So that's Ai Oehara. And she's gonna work for us after we're done with Club Mars. <laughs> And there's that bastard, one of the five stars. You know. <sighs> what kind of fucking face is that? I mean... Is that is that makeup or what exactly? He looks like a goddamn clown. It's not just the bow tie, it's also the goddamn face. Or that get up or makeup or, or whatever. That suit makes makes him look like a strawberry. <laughs> so yeah, there is another uh, there is another money, money hungry bastard. Oi! And we all know how it ends for money hungry bastards, don't we? Exactly, you said it, Majima. Hi. No, see, this guy, he you know, he thinks that money is what makes these hostess clubs, uh, you know, skyrocket to the top, but. Uh, what I really liked about Nightlife Island is that uh, the hostess club that you run and you manage, it actually, the whole foundation is based on, you know, friendship and uh, just working together, you know, teamwork. And I think the whole thing is just really beautiful, especially uh, later on when you recruit more hostesses. It's like so goddamn beautiful. They're, they're all in harmony, they all work together, they all share the same goal. And you know, they just work honestly on it. It's so goddamn beautiful to watch. <sighs> goddamn. Yuki doesn't want to hear you say that. What? Exactly. Mm hmm? Right, you keep on, you keep on dismissing us as flies, and eventually we're gonna beat you, pal. I... Poor I, having to work, to having to work under a bastard like that. So now we we have uh, you know some pieces of trash to take out, <clears throat> and we're gonna do exactly that. Bring it on! Let's see what the staff of Club Mars is made of. Boom! God damn, I love that face cam so much! You're so fucking awesome, Majima! God damn. Is that all you got? Come on. Come on. Put up put up more of a fight. Damn. 
Damn, that neck break hit action though. So good. <sighs> so goddamn good. Don't worry, Majima. You'll be able to do it. So, hold on. There is one very important ability that I wanted to learn from Komaki. Which is the sidestep kick. Because it's really gonna help... Uh, it's really gonna help you a lot. Well, I know it's gonna help me a lot because it's goddamn useful, so... I'm just gonna go and uh, learn it quickly, and then we'll come back and uh, continue our hostess business. You should be pretty close, just uh, just in the park over here. Okay, he should be just over here. There he is. I find it interesting how Ko uh, Komaki is with Majima this time instead of Kiryu. And Kiryu gets, you know, completely new trainers. Nanjato? Nanjato? The goddamn camera angles, though. I came here to fight. Straight to the point, man. Okay, we're gonna do... Oh shit, I don't know what we're gonna do. Okay, we're, go we're, we're gonna take warrior arts, I guess. I hope this is the one that we need, you know, for the sidestep kick. Battle with Komeki. What the hell? He was getting up, how did he do that? He wasn't supposed to do that in that point of the animation. Whatever, man. A new move. Okay, nice. This is the quick step uh, move that we want. There we go. Almost there. God damn it. Okay, now we just have to beat him up. Here you go. Done. Okay, so with that done, we can continue with the hostess stuff. <laughs> and he is certainly pleased. Right. <laughs> Evasion strike, eh? Well, that's not a bad name at all. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, come on, come on. Okay, I mean, the name's pretty fine. What are you gonna call it instead? So, yeah, we got that evasion strike. Which, according to Komaki, is a bad name. But, uh, who cares? As long as we have the move. So, yeah, I, uh... One of the requests that uh, people wanted to see uh, in this nightlife island uh, walkthrough is that, you know, is to see the accessor accessorizing of the hostess girls. And so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna show you, you know, how, what, you, what you can do with the accessories, uh, what you can do with the accessories and how to make use of them to their full potential. So before we open for business, let's... Uh, Let's take a look at Yuki 
in the makeover, I believe, was it? Yeah, makeover. So you can go to makeover and dress her up. Make her a pretty princess. God damn that, uh... That's not really my strong suit, but you know. We're gonna do what we can. I'm gonna show you what you can do to pimp up your girl. So... Don't take this the wrong way, but I'm just gonna show you what I like when there's makeup involved with a girl, I guess. Let's see. The eyebrows, I don't mind them being the same, but the eyelashes... Just look at how, how prettier they can be when you put on these eyelashes. So we're gonna take type 2, black, eyeliner, uh, well they're, yeah I think I'm gonna go with uh, number 3 because, yeah, why not. Eyeshadow, not necessary. Contacts, not necessary either, but I mean if you want to, why not? Just look at how beautiful the contacts look. God damn. Okay, so we don't have to use the contacts. As for the lipstick, you know, you can use pretty much anything you want. The makeup doesn't really change anything. But if you want to do it, I mean, it's up to you. So yeah, the accessories... You have like these three types of uh, levels for the looks, you know, on the bottom right. You have the sexy stat and the beauty, cute and funny. And so X is the weakest uh, level and after it comes that triangle and after it is that circle and after it is that pink circle that, that you see, the double circle. And so... I'm not sure what we're gonna do exactly so far, but you know, hold on, okay, I guess we're gonna put this one, why not, onyx, nope, well, yeah, let's take pearl, I guess, Those all decrease some stats, so we're gonna leave them. Uh, what else can we put? Oh yeah, there is this perfume. Just put it on, you know. It's not you're not you're not gonna lose anything by doing it, and it's, it's pretty cheap. It's only ten thousand yen, so definitely buy the perfume. And I don't know what else can we do. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna use another. Yeah, another earring, I think. Let's see if we can raise another stat this way. Hold on. Okay, let's go with this one, I guess. Okay, let's check the nails once again. Okay, we'll put on red. And for the ring, yeah, let's go with this one. Hmm. I guess we can go with this. But funny is still on X. We kind of want to, you know, balance things out. Yeah, let's buy the simple watch. I mean, you know, by the end of this, you may have your hostess look like a goddamn clown, but as long as the stats are there, that's what matters. Nope. Nope. Nah. Okay, I think... Uh, I think we're good for now. I don't know. Hold on, let me check the hair accessories again. Yeah, I think that may be the best that we can get. 
or I don't know, you, you may be able to get better results if you, you know, mess around a little more. But I think this is, uh, this should be good enough for now. So yeah, we'll end it. We'll end it for now. And let's do customer service too. Let's chat a little with our hostess, Yuki. <sighs> yeah, you're nervous. Right. Let's get you more confident. Hi. Thank you, please. What? what? Relax, you come on. Come on, you you can do this. Just relax. Alright. Are you sure you don't care, Majima? That was kinda harsh. So yeah, as you can see, just by applying makeup, just look at how prettier she looks now. God damn, they look so goddamn beautiful. Wow, well... She's really into fantasy, I guess. Huh? A prince? Oh, so you're basically describing Majima here. Sounds just like me. Yep. For you, I am. Ha, huh, what, what do you think of that pickup line? God damn, I'm so fucking bad. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> yep, she digs me. Or not. Fuck. Oh, come on, seriously, Yuki? Give poor Majima a chance. Don't worry, Majima, that eye patch makes you look like the most badass person there is. Keep it. Oh god, we're having more dream talk, especially after Yakuza 5. Come on, man. We've had enough dreams already. Yeah. So basically, all her life, she's been around girls mostly. Don't apologize, Yuki. もしかして、やっぱり私、接客でみんなの足引っ張ってたりしますか。Well... I'm actually not sure what to choose here, so... Um, I guess a club needs variety, I don't know. Yeah, let's go with that. Come on, is it the right answer? Ah. Yes, I guess it was... Uh... Come on, Yuki. You underestimate Majima, he's always so kind. Especially in Yakuza 0, I mean... If we, if we were talking about later games, I mean, okay, I would have understood, but... Yakuza 0 Majima is a stud. <laughs> yep, you said it. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, look at Majima being all concerned. Oh, look at Majima being all concerned. Right. Yeah, I don't think that exactly works in this day and age, Yuki. なんて感情のこもってない言葉。あ、キモン。そうですよね。え?ビングビングインラブ well, yeah, I mean, I guess if you're talking about dating that uh, that night guy, then yeah, it would be a hassle. Hold on. That's this job, though. You need to figure it out. What the hell do I choose here? God damn it. Let's go with do a horseback date. <laughs> yes. We got it. You have a vast imagination, Yuki. Oh, so now she's having second thoughts, I guess? I wonder how Majima knows, though. Did he ride horses at one point of his life? I don't know. <laughs> the way Yuki put it, man. God damn it. But I think I should go to the track. Okay, now on to this last question then. Well, you know, pretty much the entirety of your love fantasy. That's uh, for starters. Yup, you said it, Majima. <laughs> She's not gonna be happy to hear that. Nope. What? <laughs> Right. romance is an important part of life, man. It's not like it's a bad thing. Yep, you said it, Majima. She's probably never, never dated anyone. Or even, you know, looked up anything about love. Right. Seems legit. I yield. Those are last names. Gotcha。You're welcome, Yuki. うん。そうですね。粛々と頑張ります。So yeah, that was uh that was a pretty good practice, I guess. We didn't get the whole, you know, the whole... Uh, the entirety of, you know, the score, but... Uh, we did good enough. Let's go. <laughs> so yeah, we had a good lesson. There is a bad lesson, a normal lesson, a good lesson, and a perfect lesson. So, a good lesson is, uh, is pretty nice.
right. Right. So she's going to level up. And now we can actually start, you know, our mini game. But first, let's just, you know, change the staff. We have this one. This one this one's that that was, uh, you know, that was near the club. And just look at her stats. Her talk is skyrocket high as well as her skill uh, stat. So she's gonna be really useful, especially for later clubs. We also have this one. Okay, let's take all of them, I guess. You see, this, these low-end ones are pretty much useless, especially these ones, you know, where they're trying to balance out their stats, but it doesn't really work. But regardless, just have them on your list, just uh, just in case. And now let's open for business. Target Club Mars area. There we go. Welcome, sir. Oh boy, we have a long night ahead. Let's get this started. Right, I'm also gonna show you how how to do the symbols, you know, when customers request stuff. So we have an average customer this time. Pretty a pretty big customer for uh this point of the minigame. So we'll send the best girl for him, which is Yuki, I guess. And he's still not happy, but you know, average is good. Let's see, love. Okay, he's happy with this one. This game includes a lot of frustration and, you know, fast dec decisions, but just tr try to, you know, try to do what you can. Alright, doing good so far. This one's done already. Thank you. So... You should choose extend session really when when the customer is super happy, like purple face happy. So this sign is ladies glass. Ladies glass. So choose that. Okay, we have one customer waiting. Let's see. He's gonna be pissed with this one. Okay, what about this one? Sad. Yeah, let's drop this one on him. He's just a poor customer anyway. You gotta save the best ones for, you know, in case uh, better customers come. You know, average customers or higher. Sad. I guess let's give him Yuki. Okay, fever time is almost here. R1, baby! Just look at that money flowing now. I mean, right now, there may be not as much money. And hold on, this is guest class. So yeah, right now, there may not be as much money flying, uh, you know, on the room. But eventually, you'll have literally money everywhere on the screen. It'll be so awesome. And yeah, this is the premium hostess uh, serving scene, which is pretty goddamn badass. Majima looks so goddamn classy. I fucking love it. Give girl a reward, why not? This is gonna, you know, this is gonna take out a little from the profits of the night, but uh, but it will improve the mood of the girl a lot. This one is a refill ice. Okay, party. Shit, we're kind of, we kind of don't have good ones. Yeah, you see, in case you have, uh, in case you don't have good ones, or in case the customer is going to be blue face or red face, just it's better to leave it off, Le leave that customer alone. Because if you give a customer, uh, if you give a customer a hostess and he he has this blue face or the red face, he's uh, he's pretty much gonna cause trouble. And yeah, it won't go smoothly. See now, this since this is the purple face, you can try ex uh, uh, extending the session. 
and it worked this time. Extending a session will always have uh, the fever effect, so you're gonna gain money by the second. It's gonna help a lot. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to leave this customer alone. Yep. So we're ready for another round of fever time. So let's do this. Doing fever time at level one will give uh, will give that fever state to only two tables, and when you do it at level two, it will give fever state for four tables, and obviously at the max level, it will give the fever state to all of the tables, and it will also improve the moods of the girls. So that helps a lot, especially when you're uh, when you're fighting against the clubs. Let's use a Kami. We've been saving her for far too long. And let's use Fever Time. Check. He can praise the girl. She doesn't really need that much recovery. Praising the girl gives her little recovery. And giving her a present will uh, improve her mood by a lot. So yeah, keep that in mind. <laughs> this one's almost done. Yeah, let's praise this one. She doesn't need a reward. And for this one, refill ice. When you get the right choice, the girls are going to recover, so that that's gonna help too. Let's see. Yeah, let's go with the, the first one. Praise girl. So this round is almost done. But you know, just keep the, keep the good work up. God damn it, of course they have to look for that funny trait when it's at X. I'm gonna try making it uh, at least triangle, so she should have a better chance with the customers, but uh, I'll see how it goes. So yeah, level up for almost all of the girls. We're doing good. 261 uh, fans. We're doing very good. The next event should be should be at uh, a thousand fans, I believe. So we're pretty close. And the face-off against uh, the star of this area will be at thousand and five hundred uh, fans. So since we've done another round of uh, you know uh, opening up the hostess club, we can now do customer service three. So let's move on to that. And you want to do these customer service training? as soon as possible because later on you will get more girls and you can only do like one training session per uh you know per uh interval between the the openings of the club so apparently now she's gotten used to talking to us That's not how you you start things off, Yuki. <sighs> yup, we still got a long way to go. But don't worry. I'll guide you. Hey. Kinda cold today, huh? So Um why are you stopping, Yuki? You should, you know, give small talk. <laughs> what? She's so goddamn clumsy. I love it. <sighs> yup. Pretty much. すいません。何か喋らなきゃとは思うんですけど、何を話したらいいかがわからなくて。
right. <clears throat> well, yeah, as a hostess, it would be casual, I guess. Because that's the point of being a hostess, you just have to keep the conversation going. Okay, let's see what she comes up with then. Oh boy. Well, that's a good question, actually. I like... Uh... Let's go with Tamago. I think that was the correct choice. Yeah. Oh. Well, I guess it wasn't the best option, but, you know, but uh, hey, it, uh, it did raise the bar a little. So, so there's that. Oh, that's All this sushi talk is kind of making me hungry. God damn it. Eh? Right. You're a pro at this, Majima. God damn. なるほど。会話を続ける Okay, on to the second question now. You know, each training se uh, session has four questions. We don't have a wife, Yuki. Yeah. Eh?男の人の一人暮らしって全然想像できませんね。マジマさんは料理とかするんですか? Well, do you, Majima? Eh? Okay, I guess not. Gaishokとかインスタントばかりだと栄養が偏りそうですね。肉じゃがとか差し入れましょうか? Oh, that's nice of you, Yuki. I'll definitely take you up on that. Hmm?はい。それにしても男の人は肉じゃがに弱いって本当だったんですね。Um... I don't think so, Yuki, but we, we were just being nice and, you know, taking up your offer. Well then... Oh, the jig is up. Now we know what kind of shit you, you read, Yuki. She's so goddamn cute. So, so this guy. Demo, what does she got on to Hana Setirinova? I took a Majima Sanda Karana Kimoshimaskido. Eh? Your party, Michita Naka no Hitoto, Hajime de Ao, Jack Santoja. But Yuki, you have to be you have to be the same to customers. Um I guess she could imagine that they're me. I don't know, I think that sh that should help, I mean. So let's go with that. What? What's so goddamn funny, Yuki? Oh. Well, I guess that is a funny image when you think about it. Cute laugh, though. Wow, that raised the bar by a lot. So yeah, definitely go with that option. Good to hear, Yuki. Mm. 
真島さんだらけの客席<笑>めんどくさそうだな。She definitely likes the thought. Eh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Nani mo? Oh, you, you okay? Hmm? So, yeah, the last question now. Etto, so this ne? Ah, no. So, no. Majima san wa. Well, now that's one hell of a question, isn't it? Eh? 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 I mean, she's working hard, but she's also cute. What do we go with here? What do we go with, goddammit? I'm gonna go with working hard. So, this is it. Shit, I think that might be the wrong choice, but I hope not. But、uh, it is true, though, she, you are working hard. So. <laughs> yep, exactly. You're welcome, Yuki. How come? Come on. でも嬉しいです、本当に。私、もっともっと頑張ります。Good to hear, Yuki. So that should be a good lesson. お疲れ。<笑> yup. え、はい。More level up. Almost level ten. Okay, so. Akemi is already at the green estate. She gets tired really fast, so we're gonna take her out.、Um, I think we're, we're ready to begin the next round. Okay, so we're gonna do one more round and then we'll end the episode there. So, yeah, let's start the business. Yashai Masai. お客様。お客様。いらっしゃいませ。ませいらっしゃいませ。どうぞこちらへ。Okay, there's our first customer. Okay, this one's gonna make him really happy, but hold on, let's check if any others will. Okay, this one is good enough. You know, save the best for the last. Or more like save the best for the rich. Nope. I guess we have no choice but to use Yuki here. Even though it's a green face, but.、Uh, The best we can get. Okay, this guy wants to party. I guess this one will do. Okay. Wow, two at the same time. Some are down, girls. So this is the menu. Menu. There's Yuki. She wants the menu as well. And look, the customer's mood has,、uh, has improved. If I may. Here you go, sir. If you'll excuse me. That thumbs up, though. Okay, skill. We'll give him this girl. 
more serving. This one's the guest glass, as yes. we've, uh, we've established. Uh, refill ice. Okay. A new customer. And shit girls. Oh yeah, this one's gonna be good enough. Should be, yeah. Okay, we're gonna use fever time at last. Nice, keep that money coming. Refill ice. And this ice talk is kind of making me thirsty. <laughs> he wants love, but we can't... Oh yeah, actually we can. If it's a green face, then go for it, no problem. But if it's a blue face or a red face, don't go for it. Definitely not. Okay, we're almost at another fever time. It's almost done. There we go. Everyone's happy. Life is good. <laughs> Check, please. Praise girl. Okay, new customer. He wants to talk. Yeah, let's let's uh, drop off this one on him. So you can try luck and extend the session here because the customer is really happy. So yeah, it worked. So yeah, it may work, but it also may not work. If the customer is at the purple face, then definitely go for it. So there is another situation, and he accepted. So do try your luck. Talk. There you go. Another fever time. Almost. Praise girl. There we go. Just look at that, every table has fever time. Like this is... This is what you really want to see in this mini game. Everyone sitting happily with, with their hostess and just having a good time. And it actually makes you realize how fun it is working for Majima. Just look at how lively things are here. Like goddamn. Okay, we have an average customer, but you know, the girls we have are shit. So they're not gonna do for him. Yeah, none of them. We have an, we can do another fever time uh, power up, but uh, the tables are, are already you know fevered up. Okay, we're gonna drop off this one at him. Come on. Okay, we have another average customer. I hope we can at least give him a green face. Hostess. Uh, he wants love, but nope, all of them are shit, so... Nope, no can do. You know what, let's give her a reward, why not? Help her recover a lot. Okay, new customer. Let's see what he wants. He wants love. Let's give him some love. Wow, she's... Her HP is kind of really low. Let's give her a reward. So yeah, you can see how much it improves her HP. You know, giving her a reward. Let's use fever time since, you know, time's almost up. <laughs> Customer's here, but time's almost up. But uh, let's throw, throw this girl on him. Why not? There we go. Eight million. Not bad. Okay, we ranked up and we gained more fans. And we're very close to having the hostess battle against uh, Hino. Right on. Hi. <laughs> <sighs> 
Yeah, but don't worry. We'll be able to do something. Wait, what the hell is going on there? Oh yeah, I think this is I being attacked by homeless guys. And you'll see the story behind that in just a couple of minutes. There we go. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's what happens when when an asshole runs the club. No. He basically scammed these guys somehow. Uh -huh. And now they're blaming this uh, this hostess, which has nothing to do with it. Because, you know, all she's doing is just doing her job. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's Hino's doing. Yep. Hi. So yeah, they're giving I shit basically just because of that guy's assholic actions. Mm -hmm. And Majima steps in to save the day, of course. Just look at his sh chivalry. So goddamn... So goddamn magnificent. Uh -huh. You said it, Majima. God damn it, you're such a gentleman. <laughs> oh, god damn, that burn though. <sighs> yep, step back, lady. We're gonna take care of him. Bring it on, fuckheads. God damn it, I keep saying this again and again, but it's so goddamn fun playing as Majima. Boom. And look, they're intimidated already. Boom, boom. Yeah. That's not gonna help you, buddy. Get up. To the wall. Punch to the face and kick to the back of your head. Yeah. Uh, what should we do to this guy? Let's break his neck. Come on. Ah. Gotcha. For broke guys, they're actually pretty rich. We got a million out of them. <sighs> and there's Yuki. <laughs> what do you mean beating up people again, Yuki? We just saved a girl, that's it. Proper chivalry, hello? Right. Exactly. Oh, Yuki. You're so naive. <sighs> wow, she's thinking way too far ahead. Oh, so she has a message for us. Hi. Whoa, 
well then. Coming from her, that kind of rubs us off the wrong way, but uh, I know it's not, you know, I know I know it's not her words, but still. Just look at how cheerfully she says all of that. <sighs> And we're gonna take that war. Hi. Exactly. Oh, oh, damn. <laughs> well, Yuki's still not pleased about this. Is she jealous? <laughs> well, she's amused. <laughs> I don't think she's making fun of you, Yuki, but... God damn. Yeah, exactly. See, this is what, what I meant when I was talking... When I was talking about it earlier, like... This club becomes something really phenomenal, like, everyone's having fun while working together towards, you know, making their club the best in town. It's just so goddamn beautiful. Such a beautiful image. <laughs> Come on, Yuki, you know we do. So yeah, basically she's saying that where she works at... It's basically a shithole compared to our place. Uh. Don't worry, I. You're gonna join us pretty soon. Haha. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Yuki's so goddamn cute, man. Yes, that's me. <laughs> Words of wisdom. There. You're just doing your job. It's your boss who's to blame. God damn right. Smooth as butter, Majima. The definition of goddamn chivalry, right there. <laughs> oh, we will meet again, don't worry. Ah. <laughs> what? <laughs> well... She's definitely cute. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh god, she they gave her the gold sh the cold shoulder sh sh Fuck, I can't speak for shit. They ca they gave her the cold shoulder. God damn, I feel bad for her. <laughs> so, you see what I mean like they're having so much fun while working together towards one goal and becoming the best goddamn club in town. It's so goddamn... The imagery is so damn just pretty. Wow. So yeah, I think we should end the episode here for now. Uh, yeah, we haven't really done much yet, but uh, we've done some, you know, some rounds of hostess... Uh, Hostess man management, I guess, or, you know, opening the club for a bit. And, yeah, we're almost uh, we're almost done with Club Mars. So, I guess by the next episode, we, we're going to start with another club. And maybe, who knows, maybe we'll even be finished with the, with the second club. But I can't say for sure. So, yeah. 
So this has been the first episode of uh, uh, Nightlife Island. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below, and if if you have any you know if you have any requests or anything you would like to see, just let me know in the comments. And yeah, this has been uh, um, the first episode of Nightlife Island. If you like what you saw, leave a comment and a like. This is me, Devilian Seven, and I am out.